Hello, in this video we're going to talk about research, specifically how to start with a vague research idea, how to refine it, and how to find good resources. Let's say you're thinking about doing a paper about college students and how much they drink, but what about it? What kind of questions do you want to answer about this topic? This is where you would start to do some background research. Background information is crucial to understanding your topic. Starting with a general overview of your topic can help you start thinking about what aspect of it you want to focus on. Background research can also give you a clearer understanding of what you're looking at when you start finding scholarly research. Scholarly articles can be dense and jargony. If you've done some background research, you will better understand what the articles are referring to and will know if it's something you should spend time reading. Wikipedia is a great place to start research, especially in popular culture or current affairs. Wikipedia can give you key terms and names to research and provides links to resources. But Wikipedia is not an appropriate source to cite in a research paper. While reading background information, you'll want to jot down key terms and names that you can search on when finding books and articles on your topic. It may also help you find related terms you can use to search in the databases. For example, if I search on college students drinking in Wikipedia, it tells me that the page doesn't exist, but that alcohol use among college students does. It also suggests some other related topics, like binge drinking or the Minimum Drinking Age Act. At this point, you might want to think about one of those topics as your focus. Your background research might have helped you narrow down your topic about college students and drinking, but if not, don't worry. As you start searching for research, you'll get ideas on what to look for. Now that you have some idea of what you want to search, it's time to start. When you need to find articles for a research paper, the library databases are the best place to get them. Why use databases instead of Google? Because a lot of scholarly peer-reviewed articles, the kind of articles your professors want you to use, are unavailable free on the internet and are only available through the databases the library subscribes to. In addition, the library databases have many features to make it easier to do research and find relevant material. Let's see how. Search Everything is a good place to start your research, as it will search a variety of databases across subject areas and contains quite a bit of scholarly peer-reviewed research. It's also the best database to use for narrowing or broadening your search. Let's see how. I'm going to the advanced search so I can build my search more effectively than I could with just one search box. In advanced search, I can put together different words and phrases with AND to make my search more precise. Let's say you haven't narrowed down your topic with your background research and you want to browse broadly on college students and drinking. Start typing in students. The database suggests other terms that might be related, like college students, university students, etc. In the second box, put in drinking. And then do a search. Scroll through your results and see what jumps out at you. Maybe number six about alcohol and sexual behavior sounds like a topic you might want to explore more. If it is, take a look at the subject headings on this article. Create a new search. Leave in your college student's term and start typing in alcohol in the second box instead of drinking. The database suggests alcohol consumption, which sounds like what you are looking for. Then add sexual risk taking in the suggested related term of risky sexual behavior. We went from almost a million results to just over 2,000 results, which is much more manageable. But maybe you look through these articles and decide, no, risky sexual behavior isn't really what I want to research. None of these are really catching your interest. It's fine to change your topic. You're going to be working with it for a while, so make sure it is something that's interesting to you. Just remove the last subject term and look at your broader search again. If you do want to continue with college students drinking and risky sexual behavior, now ask yourself, what question do I want to answer with my research? Maybe it's something like, what role does alcohol play in risky sexual behavior in college students? Or, are there any interventions that can help drinking college students from taking part in risky sexual behavior? Once you have your question, you can create your thesis statement, the statement you're basing your paper on, and what you will look for research to back up and support. For example, students who consume more than five drinks a night are more likely to engage in risky sexual behavior than those who do not. Or, Peer-run awareness campaigns on college campuses are effective in reducing risky sexual behavior due to drinking. You've taken a really broad idea, college students and drinking, 
and turned it into a specific research topic. Now you're ready to not only look for relevant resources, but you've invested enough time in your background research and in thinking about your topic from different angles that finding resources is going to be a lot easier. My examples have made this look like an easy process, mostly for the sake of this video not getting too long. But in reality, finding the right search terms and narrowing down a topic can be one of the hardest parts of research. If you're having trouble, please let us know. We love to do research and searching and would be happy to sit down with you and do some research together and show you what works best. You can contact us using the Ask a Librarian link at the top of the page.